Now to the interrogation video of an Uber driver who went on a deadly rampage, killed six people in 2016. The video has never been broadcast before, and our chief national correspondent Matt Gutman also talked to some of the survivors. Good morning, Matt. Hey, good morning, George. That video shows Uber driver Jason Dalton offering up a defense that shocked the nation. Dalton had lived a completely middle class life in Michigan, but now he told detectives that the devil in the Uber app took control over him and commanded him to reign eight hours of terror on Kalamazoo. I'm not a killer, and this is what I'm, I, and, I, I, and I know that I have killed. You're watching never before seen video of Uber driver Jason Dalton being interviewed by police, explaining why he's just gone on a murderous rampage, killing six people and severely wounding two others because he said his Uber app made him do it. I know that you guys are gonna have a hard time believing this, but it literally took over mind and body. The Uber app? Yes. It was red when I first started. Okay. I switched from red to black. Okay. When it's in that, in that black mode, yeah. it literally has control of you. I wasn't believing any of it, but if it's something that's gonna make him talk, you're not gonna wanna shut him down. Before February 20th, 2016, Jason Dalton seemed like any ordinary family man in Kalamazoo, Michigan, a man who had just started to drive for Uber to pick up extra cash for a vacation. But that day at 421 in the afternoon, he starts an eight hour reign of terror, picking up his first rider of the day, Matt Mellon. As he's going 75 miles an hour. Yeah, down swerving in and out of traffic, yeah. We were going so fast, we just blew right through this. At one point, I even thought about hitting him. Basically, I was pointing out random houses. And I was like, oh, there's my friend's house, there's my friend's house, there's my friend's house. Finally, he, like, slammed on his brakes. Mellon has no idea how lucky he is, because right afterwards, Dalton heads home, puts on a bulletproof vest, and picks up this Glock semi-automatic. Back on the road, he drives past Tiana Carruthers, walking with her daughter and a group of her daughter's friends. He comes back and opens fire. I told the girls, run, no matter what, you run and do not come back. I tried to get under a car, but then when I realized, if I just keep moving, if I just keep moving, if I just keep moving, then he just continue to shoot. So I lay there and I pretended that I was dead and I just kept telling myself, God, you're going to make it. You have no other choice. You're going to make it. And I just kept telling myself, I just hope the children are okay. Lord, please, I can never forget myself. Just make sure that they're okay. You physically blocked some of those bullets from where those kids were going. Yes. And one of those children was hurt. I don't think I could bear a child losing their life. Would I do it all over again? Hell yeah, I'd do it again. Boy, some real strength right there. So we saw the we saw the interrogation video the driver blaming it on the app, but have investigators been able to figure out anything more about the motive? They have no idea why he did this, and we're not going to know more at this point because there's not going to be a trial. Jason Dalton this month was sentenced to life in prison without parole. He pleaded guilty, dropped the insanity plea, partly because his mother told him to do it. But I'm pretty convinced that at some point during these interrogation tapes, he was convinced that the Uber app told him to do something. I wow. think he believed it. Mm. Mm. Just crazy. Matt Gutman, thanks very much. A lot more tonight on 2020. That's at 9, 8 central. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.